everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this lovely little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video, well, in this video, we're going back to a classic. And really, when you say classic rock, I guess this would be at the top of many people's lists. But this is also one heck of a difficult song to play on mandolin, as you could probably tell from my opening video. I think I got it close. Not perfect, but close. So close enough for this lesson. Maybe some of you guys can learn it and play it better than I did off the top in that video. But anyway, it's a lot of fun to explore on the mandolin and try to play your own version of it. So I will show you all of that coming up in this lesson. But first, a little bit of business. If you're new here, please hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner of your screen. It really helps us to continue to grow on this channel. And if you are a returnee, a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back once again. We really appreciate your support. But you can support us even more down in the comments section or the information section below this video if you want. You know, maybe you can hit that super like button and send me a couple of dollars for a drink, a coffee, coffee or a beer. Also check out my affiliate links down below, the link to Johansson Mandolins and also the link to my new lesson series, Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin with Mike Dijon. Those lessons will get you going, get you started if you're a beginner or an intermediate player. But that's enough business. Let's take a look at Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven for Mandolin here on RPM. <laughs> Okay, so this is part one of Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven, of course, from their landmark 1971 album, Led Zeppelin IV. I'll show you the way I play it. And again, this is my interpretation. It may be different from the way that you play it on guitar or even um, the way other people play it on mandolin. It's, it's different. So what I do is I start with this high A note here and I go... That's the opening motif to this song. And by the way, I'll do a part two for the rest of this song, at least the rest of the uh, backup track for, for this song, Stairway to Heaven, in the coming week. So stay tuned for that. Check it out here on RPM. But part one starts with that little riff, okay? So it's based on an A minor chord, an A minor voicing. Now, I've seen some people play it down here. You can play it with that A minor if you want, and that's fine. I'm playing it here. So I'm taking this note here, which is an A note, and that's the seventh fret of your D string, right? And I'm keeping that finger locked down while I'm playing this note here, a C note, right, on the third fret of the A string, and then open E, okay, so like this. And just once through with the down strokes, okay, one, two, three. Okay, and it goes like this then, it goes, Okay, now I'm adding that fifth fret, another A note, fifth fret of the E string, so. Okay, that's your next target note there, the seventh fret of the E, but I'll show you that in a minute. That will involve another uh, configuration, another chord voicing here. So let's try that A minor again. Okay, so that's all you're doing. One, two, three, four. That's your passing note into this chord. Okay, wow, that's a pretty tough chord, isn't it? And it requires quite a stretch here. And this is the one that I sometimes don't get right because it's quite a stretch. So you're going like that, okay? So what are those notes? Well, let's start from that high, high E string there. So that's the seventh fret there on your E and still on that second fret on the A. And now you're at, the, at this note here, which is the sixth fret of your G string. And actually what you're doing is you're doing this little walk down pattern. You're doing all of that with these chords on the D string there and you're walking up on here. You're walking up here on your high E string. So one more time from the beginning. Okay, and here I'm now finger picking this. You can just cross pick it too if you want with your pick. From the, high, from the high B note down, like that. But you can also pick it together to get give you that bottom note there, that bassy note that you want. So I prefer picking it. So here. Okay, so I'm picking 
those two notes there, the sixth fret of your D string and the seventh fret of the E, and then bringing in later that third fret of the A. So, so like this. See what I did there? I hit those two notes together, kind of with a little claw in my right hand. I'm kind of cross-picking it like that. Can you see that right there on my, on my uh, other camera? Like that, okay? So, and then you want to hit this next chord, which goes, that's another big stretch, all right? So again, you're keeping that C note locked down there, but now you've moved, you've now moved down to here on your D string. Okay, and you've now moved up to there, there on the E string. Okay, so while one string, the beautiful part about this, uh, this, this lick, I think, is while the bass notes are moving down, the melody notes are moving up. Okay, so you've got sort of patterns going in the opposite directions while you're playing this. It's just brilliant, a brilliant uh, riff from Jimmy Page. So here we go. Okay, now you're gonna bring in this one. And kind of the same picking as I just showed you with this last chord, this one is now on the, what is that? That's the eighth fret there, five, six, seven. Yeah, the eighth fret of your E string, third fret and fifth fret. Eighth, third, fifth, okay? So it's a real stretch. I've got my pinky finger here on that eighth fret. And again, you wanna use that little claw to kind of grab those two notes together, okay? So you've gone from here you see that, how that works? It's really cool, like I said, this is going up and this is going, these, these are going up and these are going down. So, like that. Okay, so one more time, slowly. Okay, and now you're gonna move to here. Which is another really cool chord. Again, your bass note has now come down to the fourth fret of the D string and you're using an open A now, and you're, now you're using this note here, which is the second fret of your E string. Okay, so like this. Okay, so like this. So you've gone from, right, to there, and then to here, and here. And again, I'm still using that same little claw hammer where I pick the first two notes together. I think in guitar playing, this is known as Travis picking, where you're using your pick and your other fingers on your right hand to sort of strum and pick together. Okay, so we've gone all the way down from here. So, so from there to there to there to there. Okay, so now we're going here. Okay, and I just start that chord off with a nice strum through, all right? So this is an F major seven chord here, all right? So you've got your fifth fret here of your G, third fret of the D, open and open. So those two open strings give you that nice F major sound, F major seven sound, okay? So I'm strumming it, and then I'm just picking the notes individually after. Okay, and then to there at the end. So one more time coming down, so really slowly. Right? To there and to there and to there. Now that F chord. See, so I went. I did a strum, then I came like that. And then you go with a. Okay, so what is that? Well, that's just kind of a part of a, of a G chord. I'm just using these two strings open, G and D, and then I'm putting my first finger there at the second fret. It's kind of a passing note into the A minor chord, all right? So I end with that A minor, second fret, second fret, third fret. So you're from the F, from the F major seven, like that. Okay, and now from there, I just, uh, well, you repeat the motif again after doing, after doing this, there's a little pickup. It goes, okay, so that's from the A minor chord, just second fret here on the G, third, second, like that. Okay, so again, and a nice pause. And then you're sliding up to that again, okay? So, so from here, 
that's pretty tricky. You gotta slide all the way up to that opening motif again at the seventh fret. All right, the B part of the introduction goes. Okay, so what is that? Well, it's all based on this A minor scale. So you walk up from second to fourth to fifth. So all one note, all down strokes, second, fourth, fifth. And once you get to the fifth fret of the G string there, you wanna utilize this grip to make yourself a C major chord now. Okay, so, and you're just gonna pick those notes individually. You're gonna arpeggiate them, right? So that's five, two, three, so like that. Now when you get to the next chord, which is the same uh, configuration, just moved up two frets to the D, it's now a D chord, seventh fret here, fourth fret, and fifth fret. Um, instead of going, he goes, Jimmy Page goes, he goes down from that high note. He goes on the C, so, like that on the D chord. And then from the D chord, he goes. Okay, so that's the F major seven again. Fifth fret here on the G string. Third fret on the D, open, open. Okay, so, so from the beginning here on the B part. Okay. And then I throw in that little riff there, which is second fret here on your D and four, two, like that. So that comes after the, right after that, F major seven again, and then, all right, so the second time through, he goes the climb up again, the walk up, two, four, five, to that C chord again, but now he's not going to the D, he's going to a G and to a D chord like that. So one more time, the second part is, so I'm just hitting the, these open notes down here, open G, open D, two, three, like, and then that little, that, that on your E string, all right, from the G chord to a D chord. So one more time, part B is, And same thing again. And now it's different here. Okay, the very last time he climbs up and, and he ends on the F, F major seven. So like this, C chord, D chord, and F major seven. And then I bring in the F note here to make it an F major chord. Okay, and that F major chord, you end one, two, three, like that. Okay, so one more time, the whole uh, B part here. Okay, and then... Climb up. That F chord again. And then now you're back into the opening motif once again, all the way through like this. Ending on the A minor chord. And once you end on the A minor chord, then you're ready for the rest of the song, which I will show you in the next video, part two of Stairway to Heaven. So that is your introduction part to Stairway to Heaven for a mandolin, a really fun but very, very tricky little part. Hopefully you guys can get it down, and if you can play it better than me, let me know, because I'm sure some of you can. It's a lot of fun. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you're new here, please hit that little red subscriber button on your way out. It really helps this channel to continue to grow. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back, but don't hesitate to check out all my affiliate links and so on down below. My name's Mike DeJong. Thanks once again for watching RPM.